Hi, my name is Renee from Simple Heresy, and I'm going to do my very first Bujo video today. Yay! Okay, so we'll start with my pencil case, which is actually a pencil cup. This is it. It's a piece of Frank Oma, which I was so lucky to find at my sister-in-law's stepmom's garage sale right after I had taken the Elver Morning test and figured out that I'm in Thunderbird House. So that's super cool. I keep all of this stuff on my desk where I can find it and use it. Right now, I'm using Bic Crystal 1.6 millimeter pens. And I thought I would love them. I'm like, wow, that's gonna be a nice, thick, bold line. But unfortunately, they are not reliable. They are thick and thin and thick and thin, and sometimes they just cut out altogether. So I'm not gonna stick with these. I'm gonna to move to something else. However, I do like these Bic Bright Lighters. They are super handy, and I use them to just make my bullet journal a happier place. So I love these. These are great. When using my bullet journal, I always pencil everything in first, and then I use this Pentel Polymer it's like a rubber eraser that's super handy. It's my favorite kind of eraser and I've used them for years. This is when I finally get things set up with a pencil. I use this. It is my C3PO Star Wars cross pen that my brother got me for Christmas in 2015 and I absolutely love. It also has the best refills ever. Anyway, this is super cool and what I always use in my very first Dremel bullet journal. This isn't really a bullet journal. It's actually just a regular journal by Ecolo. They have a website. I'll link to it down below so you can go look at all of the journals they have. Again, this came from my brother for my birthday two years ago, actually, and it was just perfect for my very first Bujo. So when we open it, I put it in this pocket. This is scrapbook paper, and these are what I draw my straight lines with. This I've had for so long. It used to have Kuro Kuro Kuropi on it and little delineations and the little frog guy in the middle. It was so cute and it's gone now, but I still remember what it looked like and so I love it and keep it and use it all the time. So this is my journal. I've got the key, the index, which I've decided to fold in half because it's only been a week and I'm already on page 34. So I know I'm gonna move through this pretty quickly. So I start after three pages of index with my aspirations. I use aspirations instead of resolutions because they work better for me. They're more positive and it's more like an affirmation, more aspiring to do these things so I can do these things with my daughter and these things with my son, these things for my, my own personal mental well-being. You know, each segment of things that I know I can aspire to. So here's my future log, only six months at a time, because like I said, I don't know how long I'm gonna have this book. And these are yearly trackers. They've got the months across the top and the days along the side. And this is my cycle and my mood, because I find that these are often linked, so I wanted to put them where I could look at all of it all together. I have it marked here because I'm here every day filling in one more line. This is the first month, January. A month at a glance, some birthdays that are going on this month, and then this is my brain dump where I just have to put stuff when it gets in the way in my head and I don't really know where else to put it. It's not like an appointment that I have to write down on a specific date, it's just something in my head. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is this. This is a spread, it's two weeks. So this is January 2nd through 8th, and this is January 9th through 15th. I start on Mondays and keep the weekends together, Saturday, Sunday, and it helps me enjoy my weekend as a whole unit instead of cutting it into two pieces. This is a really small space, and I've already decided that when I do February, I'm gonna make more room. I'm gonna take a whole spread for a whole week, because I don't like the way this has gotten cramped and sloppy. So. That's not something I'm really proud of, but that's okay because this is a learning process and that was, that's what makes it fun. But I do really like this. This is a tracker. It's got the days and the dates. So Monday the 9th, Tuesday the 10th, and then these are things that I have to do every day. So as you can see here, I've got it filled out mostly and you can see where I missed things. And that's okay because it's an honest record of what's going on in my life. So that's it for now. I hope you liked the video. Come see me on simpleheresy.wordpress.com and Tell me what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.